Okay, one more specialized way of printing. Uh, if you have a booklet that you want to print, if you wanted to do something like an accordion fold book or something unique or special where you're printing this thing out and then you're going to like kind of put the pages together more like an accordion fold, which I have examples of in class again. There's a way to print that out of your InDesign file that's pretty great. So if you go up to um, you know, print up here, if you go to InDesign, you go to File, and you go to Print Booklet, you'll see that it gives you a whole bunch of options here, right? So, you know, most of the time we print a two-up saddle stitch, which is just you fold pieces of paper in half and staple them or bind them somehow. But if you want, you could do something like a three-up consecutive. So if you look at the, at the preview here, it'll give you a sense of how these things change. So a two-up saddle stitch looks like this. So you've got page one, front cover, back cover. They print on a piece of paper. You fold it in half and trim it. If you wanted to do a longer sort of stretch of paper, you could go in here and go three up consecutive, which would give you three pages, one, two, three. Or you could go in and even do four up consecutive, which is even more pages. So, And it'll just basically fit it on the piece of paper, and it'll kick it out of the printer, right? So if I wanted to do a long accordion fold book, maybe, uh, maybe three up consecutive, uh, I could do that. And then I could... Um, you know, it's going to just, if I click print now, it'll just print, kick it out of there, but I probably want to select the paper size. So if I go in here and go to print settings, that'll open up again this different dialog box. Make sure you have the secure print selected. And you can go in here and go to setup and paper size. If you want, you can choose any of these, like tabloid oversize will barely fit to our printer. There's legal, there's letter, but ledger is 11 by 17, which is great. Make sure the orientation you choose is, is landscape. You can click your printer's crop uh, crop marks, so that's a good thing to choose. Make sure you can choose all of this stuff that we've talked about before with CMYK, graphics, color management, etc. All right, okay. And once we get all that set up, you can click OK. And then if you go to preview again, it'll reflect all of that. And so now when I click print, it's going to print this out in one on one sheet of paper. So this will come out of 11 by 17 piece of paper. Then the second page will be this one. And then the third page will be this one. And then it's going to give me a blank page because I would need nine pages, right, to make the accordion fold work really well. Or I could just cut this page off, right? But it's going to give me the, the fold marks and everything, too, and where to trim. And so I'd print this out, and then I could just kind of glue page one to page two with a little like kind of tag tab here and then I could have like a nice long accordion fold book. So this could come out of a inkjet printer, um, it could come out of a uh, laser printer, uh, any kind of printer that'll take that size of paper you could just run this thing through. You could do a giant piece of paper and if it's your printer's hooked up you could use this print booklet but use the um, you know three up consecutive to do that. So that's more of an accordion fold book strategy way to do it. So uh, file that away as a possibility if that's something you think you want to do.